If you want to cut lakes out of a land layer, this is how you do it. You've got your two layers. In this case, I've got a layer of land for the world and some lakes. And I want to cut the lakes out of the land. The easiest way is to click the little cog icon and that's going to open up the processing toolbox. From here, in the search box, I'm just going to type the word difference because that's the tool I'm going to use. It's in the vector overlay section and I will just double click on difference. The input layer is my land layer. The overlay layer is going to be my lakes layer. Now, sometimes when you do this, if you hit run, you might get an error and you'll see some red text and you think everything's broken. In this case, I know my layers are fine, so it's okay, I can override it. But let's just look at that when we hit run. It says it's got invalid geometry. Sometimes you'll get a message like this and it's not the case. I know my layers are fine. So to fix that, to override it, you can go back to your parameters tab, click the little spanner and change the first thing to do not filter. And I'll do it for the second layer as well. So these layers are fine. Sometimes all GIS software can be a bit funny at times. The last thing, if you want to save the layer to a new shapefile or geo package, you can click the browse button and choose save to file where you've got lots of different file format options, or you can save it to geo package, which is the default option in QGIS. I'm going to just create a temporary layer because I'm just demonstrating this. So when I hit run now, I won't get the error. It's just going to work. How long this takes in your machine just depends on how fast it is. Let's close that and I'll turn off my original land layer. And if I zoom in, we can now see that those lakes have been cut out of the land layer. So we had a land layer and a lakes layer. Um, by using the difference tool, we've now got the land with the lakes cut out. And that is all there is to it. So if you ever need to do that, it's the difference tool and you can see it's very quick.